Hey right, guys, welcome back to another Steam free-to-play walkthrough. Today we have the floor is still really cheap lava. Sabotage Mountain, 11 miles south of the North Pole, home of the kangaroos. I don't think any of that is correct. World's best king. As always, I'll leave a link to the game in the description if you want to try it for yourself. And if you like the video, please like and subscribe. I might try to get all the achievements, we'll see. There's like 50 of them, so no promises. If I do, I'll put it in the title. Someone's sawing something. That's not cool. My bed! Oh no, my box! Hello, it's me, Park Ranger Charles. Oh, it's got voice acting. Detective Services trademark pending. Sick. So your trophy has been stolen. Well, you're in luck. I was voted third best detective <laughs> back in my hometown. Okay. You used to call me Sherlock. Oh, we'll sh get to the bottom of this, King Kangaroo, I'm sure. The now, crown? if I was a trophy, where would I be taken from? Hmm. Ah, the safe. Oh. Holy Tolitos. I figured it out. Oh, Look here. Genius. It's a note. The note reads, Dear King Kangaroo, it's me, Marty Chicken. I stole your trophy for the big box. If you want no. to see it again, send $16 to Mr. Turtle's house by sunrise. You have 48 hours. <laughs> He's got his money ready. <laughs> again, this is Chicken, not Mr. Turtle. Sincerely, Mr. Turtle. Come on, Mr. Marty Turtle. Chicken. I should have known his name was written all over this. Twice. What are you doing? We can't pay him off. Yes, we, we can. We don't negotiate with terrorists for the first 24 hours. That is our policy at Chad's Detective Services. I don't make the rules. Don't you see? Took my now money. I know I'm not a cop or a detective or even a licensed what? park ranger. But my best friend's uncle once played a cop in their high school production of West Side Story. And if that holds the weight that I think it does, then oh I think God. I know exactly what to do. This dude is awful. That's an awful dude. Mr. Chad, blind ass. I'm a park ranger, but I'm not a park ranger or a detective. Who stole his wife food, bro? That bluebird's the main character, obviously. He's a pro tag. You can tell because he's blue. Oh, they took his family. They took his whole family. Oh, those are kangaroos. I thought those were birds as well. I guess I'm dumb. King Kangaroo, I've come up with a foolproof plan in order to get your trophy back. This pebble over here represents <laughs> mouse don't look like that. And this trophy shaped item under this cloth will represent Sabotage Mountain. We must lure Marty Chicken away from his nest. That's why we stole his wife and eggs. That will uh. buy us enough time so we can come up with a more solid plan on stealing the trophy back. But we need to stall his journey for at least 24 hours so he doesn't notice when sunrise happens. If he sees the sun come over the mountain and we haven't paid him the $16, I'm afraid he might destroy the trophy. Or worse, I don't have the trophy. the trophy as leverage to get a job at Burger King. <gasps> but don't worry, I've come up with an ingenious way to lengthen his venture long enough for our plan to work. Keith! This is Keith. Keith, oh, go so ahead, Keith. say hi. Keith is going to cover the path <laughs> oh, Kelly to Marty Chicken's Jesus. nest with tons and tons of molten lava. He'll turn Marty's 10-minute pleasant stroll into a 6 to 10 billion minute unpleasant stroll. <laughs> By the time he realizes that sunrise is over, we'll have come up with that more solid plan <sighs> I had mentioned earlier. Keith, here's $20. Go get some lava and start making the path impassable. We're obviously King in Australia. Kangaroo, you stand over there out of earshot so I can go talk to my kangaroo friends about something totally unrelated. You guys, the plan is working perfectly. He has no idea that the I'm turtle. actually Park Ranger Brad. <laughs> By the time he realizes that we're the bad guys, we'll have received the $69 insurance payout for the trophy we stole. Then we'll each have enough money to buy all of the spicy deluxe sandwiches from Chick-fil-A. Just another 24 <laughs> hours until the insurance pays out. <laughs> oh. 
King Kangaroo, how must you King Kangaroo consider? must be really well, freaking anyway, dumb. Anyway, I guess I uh, should go check on Keith to see if he's made any progress with the lava. Okay, bye bye now. You are so dumb, King Kangaroo. My god, dude. Figure it out. Okay, Keith. I'm ready to see what He's you've got done. King Kangaroo almost overheard our top secret Chick-fil-A plan. Oh my god, what is this, Keith? What are all of these orange squares? Is this supposed to be lava, Keith? Why he did the best he could. Out and not across the whole path, Keith. The plan requires that Marty Chicken is stalled long enough so we can collect the $69 insurance payout. <sighs> Was the $20 not enough, Keith? Obviously. Walk right around this. Is this a snowman, Keith? This literally makes the already crappy lava even more useless, Keith. That was literally impossible to do. Cardboard? Why is this cardboard, Keith? There is literally an active volcano not ten foot away, and you've chosen to use cardboard. Go get the lava then, champion. I'm so disappointed, Keith. I swear if this doesn't stall Marty Chicken long enough for us to get the insurance money and to make it to Chick-fil-A before they close, I will seriously be so mad, Keith. Mark my words, Keith. Nothing will get in the way of my spicy deluxe sandwich with a large fry. Ah, dun dun dun. That was really long cinematic, my god. One million meters remain, okay. New updates. All right. We'll figure this out. Story mode, I guess. Let me look at some of these achievements first. Is there any of them from that laser tag mode? I hope not. I hope it's only in one game mode. That'd be nice. Whatever. We'll do the best we can. Let's go. Classic normal. Yeah, that was a heck of a cutscene, boy. Uh oh. Sorry, right, I got a thing going. My apologies. Alright. Oh, I got an achievement. Sick. One out of 50 something down. The fancy achievement. One out of 59. Alright. Oh, this is hard actually. What the hell? Alright guys, so I was going to do the uh, all the achievements in this game, but the ghost zone wore me out, bro. It's insanely hard. Um, some cool things I figured out, you can look at your challenges here to see what you got left to do. This is particularly useful for the juiced, because you need the juiced achievement. So you can um, kill King Kangaroo for the final showdown, because... Will allow you to pick up the pies without the assistance of a juice box collectible. There are no collectibles except for the pie on that stage, so you have to have the juice one. Um, normal is where you get the power ups. If you do classic like I did at the start, you don't get any power ups. And I'll show you what the juice box looks like if you have any, like, if you're wandering, for instance. And then after that, I'll collect the last of my 15 juice boxes and then do the final boss so you guys can see it as well if you don't want to play through all that. Because the juice achievement actually takes a bit. It wouldn't take me near as long as if I wasn't trying to do the, like, 100% at first. I got a lot of the achievements, like, super easy, but Ghost Zone Boy is hard. It's harder than doing the achievement on Wicked Hard where you have to go, like, a thousand points. Because all you do on the thousand points when you just hug the left, you go, oh my god, I can't even tell you how to do Ghost Zone, but be super patient and really good at the game. Because all the, like, lava's, like, moving, and all the power-ups suck. Did that green thing up? Oh, uh, I don't... Uh. Plus, you get a snowball. Oh, there's a chicken. You get a snowball and, uh, the chicken, you get the giant snowball. Which, that achievement was... Become a giant snowball. Actually, I did that one already, but I just got the achievement. Alright. I did not see a juice box in that run, unfortunately. So we'll try it one more time so I can show you. My record, um, th now is a good time to get on the leaderboard to get the golden crown if you want it, which is get number one on one of the leaderboards. Uh, I think mine's 750,000 something was my score and it was put me at number one. This is a juice box. Um, like I said, you don't have to actually touch it to get credit for it you just have to be able to pick it up somehow which includes like net um if you're big or whatever while you pick it up anything works just pick it up <laughs> pretty much all right guys so the next time 
you'll probably see me play will be against the boss and I'll try to figure out how the pile works. Yay, we got juice. Alright guys, now we do the boss. Hopefully this goes well for us. Yes, yes! Now we're ready. Green wireframe, let's do that one. I'll show off my thing real quick too before we do Well, we'll do it after we beat the final boss. Show off all my stuff I've gotten. Because I was trying to do all the achievements and failed. Alright guys. Do do do. Come on. Well, 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 Marty Chicken, I see you all! Why would you do that? That really hurt my beak. You're a kangaroo dog. Well, if you're not gonna give me my trophy back, then we'll settle this outside. In a dance-off on the dance floor. Yeah. They got me. How could you do such a thing? Why did you put me in a cage? Couldn't animate throwing the cage outside, I guess. Or it wouldn't make sense. I don't know. <laughs> Payback time, baby. Oh, I tried to play this earlier without the juice thing and I was so confused. I just ran for like five minutes in a row without being able to pick up the pies. Now I have a chance. So you're telling me there's a chance. This is going to be the biggest dance battle in the history. Maniacal chuckle. <laughs> Whoa ha ha ha. to die, sucker. How do I throw? No, I guess. Got him. Is it helmet or why is it taking? Oh, I missed that one. Throw it, dude. It's kind of hard to throw the sucker. I know you use the E-key, I'm pretty sure, but sometimes he don't want to shut. Oh, well, nice. You cheated. This was supposed to be a legit dance-off, and you're trying to sabotage me. I thought this was the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Well, then, if you're going to sabotage me, then I'm going to sabotage you. And don't think your pies are going to do anything to me. Oh, God. Oh, God. He's juicing up, boys. What do I do now? Am I screwed? Oh, well. I missed time. I had a chance. I had a really good chance there. I just shot it my load at an iframe. Like usual. And then I... I actually got super unlucky with that uh, lava spawn, but... I mean, come on, man. Got him. Thank God. Oh my God. You are so mean, Marty Chicken. Just give me my trophy back and we can be friends, okay? No answer? Fine. Now I'm bringing out the big guns. Alright guys, for that phase, because I'm going to probably die here a million times, just to let you know, um, make sure you pick up as many pies as you can and then um, try to shoot them all. The closer you are to the edge, the more likely you are to hit them. Oh, that's nice, actually. I don't mind this. Oh, I got hit him five times in a row. Whoa. And he switches sides still. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah, you want to collect all your pies and then start chucking them so you can try to kill them before he swaps sides. I don't know what this meteor thing does, to be honest. But I know I'm going to have to hit him 15 times in a row without dying, so that's going to be very special. I'm so dead, dude. phase is the least worst when it's probably the fastest moving projectile it's really sad at least it's thin that's why that one's not too bad but 
I just don't think I can survive this fucking three times. Cause that's that one phase is like the only one I can really hit him in. Maybe if I launch more pies like that, I don't know, dude. Now he's gonna be on the other side, so I gotta hope something good happens for me here. I can't be really. Like, what if a don't like, what if that just got packed and I can't see? Like, I can't. Yeah, that sounds like Let's go, Cap. Alright, guys. Thanks for watching, as always. I, I give up. I've spent 80 minutes trying to do this. I'll show you how to beat phase two. I can't tell you how to beat phase three. I'll let you see a death of like the full phase though, if you want to see what it looks like. But Jesus Christ, it's too hard. Um, my thoughts on the game: the original play is like a lot of fun with the upgrades, everything like that. When you're going for a high score, but this boss is not fun. Oh my God, it's so much RNG though because you have like the lava spawning in certain places. You have to get your stupid. Oh, you have to get your stupid freaking pie that spawns on top of the lava sometimes. And then you have to aim. It's just so much going on. It's it's past my skill level. Um, but the game was really cool. I like, I really like the um, normal mode. That was a lot of fun. I do not like that one. And I really don't like that one. But thanks for watching as always, guys. Hopefully the video helps you beat it. I can't do it. Am I still number one? Oh. What? Oh, I guess it resets every day. Oh well. So that's nice. If you want to be number one, you can try it for every day, I guess. But you can see that I actually got it once at least. Because I have the crown. Let me see. I'll show you all the costume stuff I unlocked. I was going to go for 100% achievements, but I'm glad now that I didn't. Because that final boss is so freaking hard, dude. Oh lord. And that ghost, the ghost zone was actually the one that, like, pretty much taught me not to try for it. But yeah. Alright guys. Ah! Oh, that's a nice little, oh, yeah.